Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we will be discussing about the second problem of today's biweekly contest, count number of bad pairs. The problem states that you are given a zero indexed array nums and you have to count the number of bad pairs in the array. A pair i, j is bad if i is less than j and j minus i is not equal to nums of j minus nums of i. So you have to find out all the bad pairs in the array. Now, how to solve this? First of all, uh, as I say every time, if there is something that involves J and I on both the sides of the equation, you actually have to iterate all the way up to N square because you know that the left side also requires i and j, right side also requires i and j. So you can't actually do some kind of pre-computations without actually having i and j. So this will require order n square no matter what you do. And order n square is simply not going to pass because n is 10 to the power 5. So as usual, what we will do, we will just try to bring i's on the one side and j's on the other side. So let's just try to rearrange and let's bring this nums of j to the left and i to the right. And if we do that, we'll end up having i equation like this. Num j minus nums of j should not equal to i minus nums of i. Now here we can say, we can see that this and this are, le are looking exactly similar, just like, just differences the index they are pointing to. So in a way, we can actually save uh, we can actually do some kind of pre-computation with this and figure out how and figure out something. So now what we need to find out is how many numbers are there such that j minus nums of j is not equals to i minus nums of i. Or in other words, if we convert nums into j minus nums of j and i minus nums of i, we have to find out how many numbers are there which are not equal. So for example, let's take this array. Let's say the array is 4133. Okay. So the array is 4133 and the index is written on the top. So fourth index, like index of four is zero, index of one is one, index of three is two and index of three is three. Now we have to find out number of pairs such that j minus nums of j is not equals to i minus nums of i. So let's just uh, subtract these two. So if you just subtract these two, 0 minus 4 minus 4, 1 minus 1, 0, 2 minus 3 minus 1, and 3 minus 3, 0. Now you have to find out how many pairs are there which are not equal. That's the question. So instead of finding out how many pairs are there which are not equal, let's just find out how many pairs are there which are equal and then we will subtract it from the total number of pairs. So we know total number of pairs is n into n minus 1 by 2, right? And uh, we can find out how many good pairs are there. So what are good pairs? They are basically equal. So we will start from 4, okay? Like this can be done in multiple possible way. I am just explaining one possible way. Uh, there are a lot of possible ways to solve this even by sorting and other, uh, other things. What we are looking at is one of the ways. So what we can do, we have to find out uh, all the positions which are equal. So let's just see, let's just start from minus four and let's maintain a uh, set or, or a map of all the values. So what we will do is we will find out what is there in the map. So for minus four, there is nothing in the map. So minus four doesn't occur any time before. So we will not increase our answer and we will move forward. But before moving forward, we will say that, okay, we have seen minus four one time. Okay. Now we hit zero. Again, there is no zero in our uh, map. So we haven't seen zero yet. So we will not increment the answer, move forward. And uh, we will just increment this zero frequency of zero to one. Now minus one, again, there is no minus one here. So we will not increment the answer, we will move forward and just increment the frequency of minus one to one. Now zero, we know that there is one zero already in the left. So that forms a pair. So we will just add plus one to the answer, uh, move forward and increment the frequency of zero to two. 
So in this way, we will just increment our answer and we will finally get how many good pairs are there. And finally, we'll subtract this uh, subtract number of good pairs with this total number of pairs and we will go get the final answer. So let's just quickly look at the code. The code is very simple. Uh, we have done exactly what we have said. We are trying to find out, we are maintaining a map of previous and instead of explicitly finding out this array, I am finding out it, I am calculating it on the fly. So the current element is actually J minus nums of J. So number of good pairs would be the frequency of current. Okay, so prev actually store the frequency. So pre frequency of current, that's the number of good, like if that's the new good pairs with this particular index. Now, we just, after doing this, we just increment the frequency of current element by one. And after this entire thing is done, good pairs will contain all the count of good pairs. Finally, we find out total number of pairs and we subtract good pairs from it and get the answer. So hope you get the solution. I have also posted a solution of all the other problems. Make sure to check them out. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and do subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you.